Well, this past weekend, the new G.I. Joe retaliation hit AMC theaters everywhere and became the second largest Easter weekend opening in box office history, taking in just over 51 million by the end of the weekend, coming in just behind Clash of the Titans, which made over 61 million on the same weekend back in 2010. With this success, it should come as no surprise that Paramount Pictures has greenlit a third G.I. Joe film. Producer Lorenzo Di Bonaventura said in an interview that he'd like to see more ninja story and mythology in the next one. John, are they jumping the gun on greenlighting a third G.I. Joe movie already? No, actually, I don't think they're jumping the gun. I mean, a movie opens with this kind of success. You got the star power of The Rock in there. Um, and, and look, it's, it's not a great movie, but I, I got to admit, I had fun watching it. It was kind of a fun film. And to follow it up, look, they know it makes money. You got The Rock under contract, apparently. Go ahead. More ninjas, sign me up. <laughs> Just don't do a complete cast overhaul again. You got The Rock in there. Keep The Rock. Keep, you know, Pilecki, keep, you know, all the cast that you got and move forward. And, uh, and I'm good with it. Amy Rose? Yeah, Sam, I had a really good time. I mean, with movies like this, you take it for what it is. You don't make it into a great piece of cinema. It was fun. It didn't take itself too seriously. It had good action. Adrian Pilecki is smoking hot. I thought it was a fun time. And, you know, that is a lot of money for a movie like this. So I don't think it's jumping the gun. And the one other thing I should throw in here, though, speaking about G.I. Joe Retaliation, as much fun as I had with it, dear heavens, Riza oh, as that was so bad. the ancient ninja master. <laughs> that was so bad. Look, Dennis, our production manager here, he said it himself, and I have to fully agree with him. He said, look, when you've got a cheesy, hokey movie like G.I. Joe, that's what's supposed to be, and you get something in it that's so bad that it pulls you out of even that reality. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I just don't have look look all respect to Riza, but don't have him back as the ancient ninja master again, please. Yeah, please. I completely agree. I actually saw it with Dennis, and when that scene happened, I think I, I tilted my eyeglasses down, my 3D glasses. I was like, really? That, <laughs> did that just go down? <laughs> Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.